ovulation in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. Episode number 95. Target.com has deals this week that will keep your wallets warm with extra cash. We all love extra cash, right? And speaking of home, listeners are going to save 15% off Nest items like thermostats, cameras, smoke detectors, all those spring and sprung kind of items. But you got to use the promo code NEST, N-E-S-T. And look, it doesn't end there. You'll get 20% off top brands in the kitchen. KitchenAid, Curaid, Coffee Makers, Ninja, make those smoothies, and Pyrex dishes. This sale is valid from February 19th through to the 25th. So while on the topic of fashion, importantly, Fashion Week in New York, let's piggyback off that. Take a peek at Target's Who, What, Where Spring Collection, which is now available at Target.com, a collection of effortless and chic streetwear for all women. Right. So Target.com, the link is right there in the show notes. You just click that dot, dot, dot next to the episode. And you know what? It's going to say like view full description and voila, it's going to pull up the show notes and the link is embedded to Target right there on your mobile. Welcome back to the Keep It 100 Girl podcast, and you're listening to episode number 95. I'm your host, Nina Babel, and I help women and men celebrate embarrassment in their lives. I mean, no filters, no judgment, no censors either. Mm. I keep it real. I keep it true. This week's podcast is more of a girl-friendly Keep It 100 flavor. So I help women on how to use their voice with confidence, be action takers, because most of you are too shy, nervy, or embarrassed to ask those questions. So I share what we all, that's women and you men, are thinking, but not saying out loud in an unapologetic way. The Nina way. The Nina worthy way. The Nina friendly way, the Nina ism way, the Nina girl ism way. You get the Jess girly nation, right? So are you ready to keep it 100? Because my hand is raised. How about yours? Are you ready to keep it 100? Ready to keep it 100, girl. Oh, Nina, I keep it 100, baby. Yes, I'm ready to keep it 100. I'm ready to keep it 100, girl. You know I'm going to keep it 100. <laughs> So like I just said, it's all about being actionable, using these tips and advice that your mother didn't tell you, but your girl did. And this will help you keep it 100 in 2017 and beyond. This topic is near and dear to my heart. It's dedicated to all you uninformed girls out there who are listening. This is a mother-daughter combo too. Also a girlfriend combo to have. I'm sure that you've had it already, or maybe you thought about it, but just didn't know how to approach it. I'm going to help you. This episode is going to help you understand ovulation because I'm going to prove to you that most of you guys out there do not know what it is, or you think you know, or you kind of know, or you know a little bit, but not a lot, and it's not in your radar. So this will be a sex ed class with a modern twist. Look, we're all going to have a period for the next 30 something years, depending on where you are in the age group that that's listening. But this is for women of all ages. Despite your parents' efforts, whether it's your mother, your father or both, the school system. And now you could even think Google is an educator for a lot of topics. So I would include them in my list. But all three of them attempt to educate women of all ages on every subject, right? And we still get it wrong. And admittedly, we just don't know the right answer. Well, I'm going to help you. I'm going to go in the field, talk to women, and get a pulse check on this whole ovulation thing. I actually don't. (laughs) I probably should know that question. I mean, the answer to that question, but I don't. (laughs) So I was on a mission. Right. I'm trying to validate whether my miseducation of ovulation still prevailed in 2017. And aha, it does. 
But look, I didn't have a clue either. I couldn't explain ovulation. I didn't know what it was when it was even happening. If it wasn't for a friend's sister, I wouldn't have known what this consistent egg dropping phenomenon that was happening every month But it's more than that, though, especially if you're sexually active or trying to have a child. It's knowing when you can get pregnant or you know to avoid it or take the extra precautions. Umpteen years later, I asked the question no one asked me. Do you know what time of the month a woman ovulates? But let me break it down a little further. So out of your 28 day cycle, what day does your egg get released? I asked women in their 20s, and it's interesting to hear what they knew versus what they didn't, just about your cycle or ovulation, period. I do not know. I'm not on birth control, so I really have no idea. I'm probably going to go on it soon because I, like, in college and I'm 18, but it's never something that I, like, had to think about, so I really don't know. But I should find out. (laughs) It's within the first week. Like the third or fourth day? Girlfriend has a period app. She's too busy to remember when her cycle might start. So she needs an app to really track, plain and simple, like the whole pimple occurrence thing, mood swings, your water retention. And you know what? Those graphs, those flowers, those emojis that graph it out and analyze it for you, it makes women feel empowered these days. But here's the deal. You need to listen to your body, not your phone. There's at least, no lie, according to this article in the New York Times, over 200 period tracker apps out there now, right? So this phenomenon is growing, meaning women don't have a clue what the hell is going on. So they're resorting to an app to tell you. It takes all the guessing out knowing when your period is going to come, opposed to manually tracking it, right? Forget the rock, paper, scissors way of tracking your period on a calendar with an X like mommy told you to do, or just being caught by surprise. More importantly, these apps are signaling the days when you're most likely to get pregnant too. Women now never think about it, or really never have to anymore, and that's the predicament we're finding ourselves in. And in this next clip, case in point. I don't actually, but I have an app. (laughs) (laughs) I um, have an app. It's like a period app. It does ovulation and when your period's supposed to come, all that stuff. Wow, this girl, she was ready for me. She's in her 20s in college and she did not hesitate to answer within a response. Check it out. It's, isn't it two weeks after your period? Correct. You're the only person that got it correct today. (laughs) So even with a master's degree, this female student was confused. So you could have all the book sense in the world. But when I ask you that common sense question, hmm. Admittedly, she mentions we only care about things when it becomes relevant in our lives. Bingo. So as far as ovulation, do you know what time of the month that you ovulate? Technically every 28 days. However, if I'm super stressed, that changes. Um, So, yeah. Oh, is this not a correct answer? No. Wait, hold on. Ovulate. So when is your egg released every month? When do I know? She was right. Yeah. Every 28 days. Me personally. Part of the 28 days. days do you ovulate? Part of that 28 days. So you have your period, oh. you have your period every 28 days, but ovulation you is like 14. Ovulate every 28 days. Yeah. Of what day you start. Like you say, so I'm ovulating today, mm-hmm. 28 days later, I'll ovulate mm-hmm. again. Yeah, so like so what so day so of the month? But your egg, oh yeah, what day of the month do you What's ovulate? Days. days. Or what day oh. of the month do you ovulate? Because your egg is released. 14 days? On the yeah, between day twelve and four. Well, it depends on every cycle, but the range is twelve to sixteen. Okay. Right, and then your 
So your menstrual would be the last week of that menstrual phase. Okay. So yeah. I just know that I have a period every 28 days. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been trying to get pregnant. If otherwise, I'd have one of those little ovulation charts that calculate and tell me, hey, honey, I'm ovulating. Today's the day. Right. Okay, now we're getting closer, right? We're getting closer to those females who paid attention in class. I think. Is it just like before her cycle, though? Like, or is it like a certain day? I thought it was just, like, before the cycle. You're right on both counts. Okay. I don't know, like, a specific day. Uh-huh. I just know before the cycle. Right. Yeah. For those of us who don't know old school, don't laugh. This is real. <laughs> what you're going to hear up next is real. Um, I want to say it's a few days before and a few days after <laughs> your period. Possibly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's during your period and yeah, so every 28 days, sometime during your period. I want to say it's before, I used to have this little thing on my phone I used to say when I was ovulating, supposedly. I want to say like it's a few days before maybe. Yeah. Is it? (laughs) There is a standard window of time for every woman out there. And it all depends on your length of cycle. There, I thought it was different for everyone. So, so remember, remember when you ovulate is when you release an egg every month, right? So there's a range of dates, but it is different for everybody. But there's a standard of window of time. I don't know the standard. I only care about myself. That is so selfish. Oh my gosh. It would be like either within a week or two weeks of your period. Because for me, it's two weeks. That's what I thought. Yeah, mine's two weeks before. before. That's what I thought. I thought it was within a week or two weeks. Nina's purpose is to empower women to celebrate women's embarrassing moments. If you're too shy, nervous, or embarrassed to ask about sensitive girly stuff, you're in the right place. Her parents taught her to be true to herself, especially when it came to the sex talk. Jasmine's in her 20s, and you know what? She had all those open sex talk conversations with her parents. Yeah, both of them. But my parents are really open. Like, they're, they talk to me like I'm an adult. So, you know, they're not for, um, you know, sex before marriage and things like that. But they they talk to me like I'm an adult. You know what I'm saying? In all aspects, not just things like that. Did you need a refresher course or was that pretty thorough, what your parents gave you? It was... It was it was pretty thorough, but it wasn't, like, so in-depth. It was just, we taught you well. So here's the thingy, girly nation. Women in their 30s are also not aware either. I'm not singling out one group here. By the time you all figure it out... It's too late in some cases, meaning you miss the window to get pregnant, successfully pregnant. Yes, we have other options, but you know other options mean more money. And it's just evasive on your body. But it's important to know all of the signs. So I invited Dr. Bryden, who is a world-renowned naturopath, to educate us on the signs. Well, ovulation just happens over one day, but we have a larger window of fertility because sperm can survive in the uterus for up to about five days. So we've kind of got, got, we have to allow for the fact that, you know, sperm could be there and then sort of be there when we ovulate. That's where the six days comes in. But ovulation happens by definition about two weeks, sort of anywhere between 10 to 14 days before the period. So it's all, we, always, we talk about often a day 14 ovulation, but that's only for someone who has a 28-day cycle. And not everyone has a 28-day cycle. Right. It's normal to have a cycle as long as, say, 35 days. That's still normal. And in a 35-day cycle, you would ovulate on day 21. 
right? 14 days before. So Dr. Bryden breaks it down a little further for us. What we should care about, the whole fertile mucus thing, what it looks like, when to expect it, and if you're trying to get pregnant or not trying to get pregnant. So you might want to listen up, especially you youngins. Usually there are different ways to track ovulation and to know when you're ovulating, and especially for women who are trying for, for pregnancy. Yes, this is quite important to learn those signs. There's a particular kind of vaginal discharge. It's called fertile mucus or cervical fluid. Um, fertile mucus that looks like, it's, it's, I think it's really helpful for me to know about this. It looks like, you see it on the toilet paper or even on your underwear. It looks like raw egg white. It looks like someone took an egg, <laughs> broke it. That's And it might, it might be even in quite a large amount. And that means that happens usually, usually just before ovulation, although it can happen at other times too. And the other reason I'm mentioning that is because uh, if young women, so you would never see that on the pill, of course, because you don't ovulate. So there's no, you don't, fertile mucus does not occur on hormonal birth control. One of the common things that happens is women come off the pill and they start seeing this strange discharge and they think well, something's wrong. Like what the heck, that was, <laughs> what the heck is this? When they go to the doctor, it's like, I must have an infection or what this, so that's not an infection. That's a normal, it's just a response to the hormones. It's a healthy thing. Right. Yep. Yeah. And it's kind of slimy, slippery. It's how yep. the sperm swim, right? To get up to the egg. Yep. It's why your body makes it. It's a little sperm escalator. So it, sperm just goes super fast. And so the other thing, I guess if you're, for women who are, not wanting to fall pregnant, to become pregnant, that that fertile mucus is a dangerous time. Like that, especially if you're using condoms or withdrawal or something, like that's a time when you really want to think through whether that's a right. good time to, <laughs> to yeah. be risking these things. Exactly. Up next, you're going to hear me and my girlfriend, right? This is an old conversation. This is back in the day when I used to use an app. And I'll admit, I did because I just wanted clarity on when it was coming. And now I'm at a point where, look, I have an idea just based on my body, what's happening. I get tired. I know my moods change. And first of all, I just can tell by the bloating that something's happening. Or I just mark in my calendar the last time it came. And that's all I need to do. But furthermore, we had the sticky test combo. And she's the one that told me about the whole sticky test. I'll never, never forget this. This is going way back. So you guys are privy to a conversation that Nina had way back. And you know, the way that I really learned, I mean, I knew, but I didn't know the science of it until I got an app. Oh, do you have, which one do you have? I have a period tracker. Is that the one I have? Yeah, I have period tracker. With the flower? Is it? Uh, it has a, it says P tracker light. Oh, I have, I, I have IP. What does that mean? I pregnant? I don't know. I try to open it to see what it is. It just says IP and it's a pink round ball. Oh, okay. It's a flower. I remember you were living across the street and we were talking yes. on the phone. You were telling me. Yes. I, right. Yes, clear. You told me about how clear it is. Right, and it won't break if you pull it apart. That means that you are ready, you are fully ovulated. Yes, I did, because remember, you was out going through the IUIs across the street. So you're fully ovulated. So I learned a lot about that. So I, I knew how to read my body, which was awesome. But um, birth controls were, for me, were introduced in college. And when I left college, I never continued them. Um, and you know, I really don't know why. Um, but through my adult life, I never used birth control. Hmm. Okay. We're doing it up a little differently by adding a new segment to the show called Nina Asked, You Answered. This is where followers from Girly Nation write in with their personal story, and Nina either features or responds to each listener on an upcoming episode. Want to be featured on an upcoming show? Send your email to girlynation at ninababel.com. Okay, 
We're doing it up a little differently by adding a new segment to the show called Nina Asked, You Answered. This is where followers from Girly Nation write in with their personal story, and Nina either features or responds to each listener on an upcoming episode. Want to be featured on an upcoming show? Send your email to girlynation at ninababel.com. Back in my early episode days, you guys want to check out episode number three called Sticky and Gross. And it is a sticky and gross conversation. It talks about all the female events in our life that are sticky and gross. And one of the types of conversations that girlfriends have is the sticky test thing that I just talked about. But this girlfriend was in her 40s, and I have to replay it because she describes exactly what Dr. Bryden just did. Listen up. That didn't start for me until I turned 40. I was like, what is, I went to the doctor, I was like, what is this, this, it's coming out. Like, Mucus. what is this? Yeah. It's like, I, was, I have to wear like a panty yeah. wear a week before my okay? cycle. Mm-hmm. And so actually this particular time I was seeing the um, midwife in the, in the practice and she, I wear a marina and she was giving me a new one, right? And I said, what is it? She was like, oh yeah. Yep, you're going to have that one for a little while. That She was like, so when you see this, and I said, sometimes it's like a white, and then other time it looks like clear. Uh-huh. And then she was like, so the white, that's the ovulation. I was like, okay, I read a long time ago that I was supposed to see that. I haven't seen it. Now it's showing up that when I'm 40, I don't understand that. Breather Workspaces has great views and all the amenities you need to focus and get productive. If you're an entrepreneur looking to find a beautiful, practical space that you can reserve on the go, find a location. Or if you're traveling to a major metropolitan city like New York, San Fran, LA, DC, Toronto, Montreal, London, maybe Palo Alto, Boston or Chicago and you need a workspace for a few hours, maybe it's a client meeting, maybe you need to do a video, maybe it's just some quiet sit down time with a client. Well, listen up. Use promo code QFKJZA and I'll repeat Q as in quiet, F as in Frank, K as in kite, J as in Jack, Z as in zebra, A as in alpha. Look, you're going to get a great discount. Guaranteed. You're going to get at least 80% off the first hour. So what I did when I used it, look, I booked two hours because the cost was only like 30, 45 bucks. And I had a space for two hours where I can do my interviews in person. I really love breather workspaces because it gives you a change of scenery. So if you're looking for that type of scenery, check it out. So there you have it. We took menstruation and ovulation out of the closet. Hope I took the guessing out of your ovulation tracking. We live in a day where we rely on technology, people. We all will agree apps are a smart tool, but not your body's ovulation or birth control method. And like we all know, technology is also subject to failure. Knowing the theory behind it also becomes important, right? It's like writing an exam, right? You could cheat, right? You could know the answer based on what someone else did and copy it and use it. But if you know how to break down the formula one, two, three different ways, then you understand how it works. But this episode, it highlights the fact that this phenomenon, this mystery of ovulation exists today in 2017, even in our 20s, 30s and 40s, when we are making decisions and consenting to sex without having the full picture. In our 30s and beyond, ovulation is a different ballgame. For most women out there who never got the sex talk... Apps are providing you information on how the whole process works. They have one place to get all the information they need. And now, I guess on the upside, we're talking about periods. We're talking about 
period symptoms. We're talking about how to be fertile. And it appears you no longer have to ask the questions or have the conversation about your period because you can find it anywhere now, including this episode, right? And that wraps up another episode of the Keep It 100 Girls show. Starting today, people, I want everyone listening right now to take control, or as Drake would say, controller, right? I want you to know how to keep it 100 with yourself and with others. You're listening to me, you're following me, and thank you for that. But I want you to tell me what you've learned or what you want to learn more of. Message me, right? I'm giving you the deets every week. Hit me up, whether it's on social or my email, and I'll tell you what that is a little bit later. But we all screw up and fuck up, don't know what the hell we're doing. That's part of life. Stop worrying about what you're not, what you was not, what you want to be, what you don't want to be, can't be. Ah. Take what you learned today, for example, and use it. Let me know if this episode was really good for you. Because some of us are in our 30s, 40s, whatever age you are. Take two. Because some of us are in our 20s, 30s, and 40s. And you know what? You still haven't gotten the hang of it. Whether it's your period, whether it's dating, whether it's relationships, it doesn't matter. I want you to hit me up on social or leave a comment on Twitter, Insta, or the Keep a 100 Girl Facebook page. Or you just hit me up on my blog too, ninafable.com. So it's Nina, N-I-N-A-B-A-B-E-L.com. So new episodes of the Keep It 100 Girls show, we drop every Tuesday on iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, SoundCloud, TuneIn Radio, Auto Radio, iHeart Radio. I think that's it. <laughs> I've lost track, but you get the gist. If you like my style, my episodes, spread the Nina worthy word, right? Share my podcast on social I'll help you out. Use the handle at Nina Babel. You can connect with me. Again, you spell my last name like this. Babe with an L. Right? Like, hey, babe. And just add an L to the end. So if you want to share your story, drop me a line, question, request, and pitch. Or feedback. Or just message me to ask at ninababel.com right? So I want you to keep it 100 today and this week. And look, we will connect on Thursday with the morning sip. In the meantime, smooches. 